First, let's state for the record that the MPP has 137 elected members of parliament plus one independent candidate. This means that they don't actually need the NDC to form quorum and to start business. The constitution in Article 102 is clear that you cannot commence the sitting of parliament unless you have one third. One third of 275 is 91.6. And since we don't have 0.6 of a human being, it is 92. So therefore, until you have 92 members of parliament, you cannot even pray. So in fact, the prayers we held today must be deleted. It is unconstitutional. You can't adopt the votes and proceedings. So clearly, our position is simple. The MPP should not expect the NDC to do government business for them. Whilst they sit in the comfort of their homes, draw on salaries, and then go to constituencies, use government vehicles and government fuel, and campaign. We won't do that. So we urge them that in as much as they are persecuting our members, they should withdraw from the field and come and do business here. We, since they have escalated the persecution of our colleague, Honorable Kwesi, they should not expect cooperation from us. That is simple. We will not announce the strategy going forward. But all what we can assure you is that all options are on the table on a daily basis, and they should not expect cooperation from us. I won't go into the details, but let them be assured that amid persecution, cooperation will suffer. Nothing more, nothing less. And that is the position of the NDC minority. We are not going to compromise on that. They should come to the floor and do their business. And let Ghanaians be aware that MPP do not have the moral right to talk about uh, patriotism. If you are patriotic, in the middle of economic crisis, you won't behave the way you are behaving. In the middle of economic crisis, you won't abandon parliament and use state resources to campaign. Thank you.